It is Foot Trading's first birthday in March, and as our way of saying thank you to the insane support we've had for the last year, we are giving away your choice of an Xbox Series S or a PlayStation 5 Digital to one Lucky Sight subscriber. All you've got to do is be subscribed on the 31st of March in order to be entered automatically. Now, as a reminder, Tier 1 costs £10 a month, and that gives you access to buying and selling prices for special cards, for icons, for silvers, and for... Thursday flips, so much stuff on the website, I forget what we do. And tier two includes live filters, UCL cards, gold chem styles, and fluctuations with more to be added in the coming days and weeks. There are multiple updates every day on the site, allowing you to trade 24 hours a day, no matter what time zone you are. Don't forget, if you do subscribe to the website, make sure you join the Discord. There are thousands of people in there helping each other to trade and make the most of it. We've got mods, you've got Dan and I, you've got trusted traders, all the stuff you could possibly want to make millions of coins on this game without having to spend any, any of your money on FIFA points. So good luck to everyone that enters. And once again, thank you very much for the amazing support we've had. You guys allow us to do this full time. We're extremely thankful and we never lose sight of that. But for now, let's get into the video. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. As always, if you're new around here, make sure you do subscribe down below. Make sure you turn your notifications on so you never miss an upload. Again, if you have them turned on, make sure you turn them off, back on again, and click that bell button and set it to all. YouTube have messed up the notifications again. I don't know how they keep doing this, um, but it's YouTube for you, basically. Um, so make sure your notifications are on. You get three videos a day on this channel. The morning is League SBC Method to Glory. We are currently crafting the mid slash prime icon player pick. Um, we will hopefully get it done for free by using that method. Essentially, it's just crafting players, packs, all that sort of stuff for free. Meaning you haven't got to spend your, your hard earned money on FIFA points. And you can still engage with promos, have fun on this game and all that good stuff. The evening video, this video is always helping you guys to trade um, and... This is a new series we've been running, which is me trading from 1,000 coins all the way to Team of the Year, Bruno Fernandes. We'll go over where we're at in a minute. And the midnight content is a mixture of packs, picks, trading tips, thoughts on the game, all that sort of stuff for you guys to enjoy. It's the most relevant content at that moment, so whatever drops at 6pm or whatever I'm doing at that time, I come and show you guys at midnight so you can go and do it yourself throughout the den and the next day, which is awesome. Don't forget to check out Foot Trading. We're giving away an Xbox Series S and a PlayStation 5 Digital this month. But like I say, this is... Uh, but trading to Fernandez, that's basically what this series is called. I've called it a weird one. And really, we're picking up where we left off last time out as something else sells. Um, and yeah, basically, if you guys remember last episode, I was talking to you about the Marquinhos's and how they sell into fluctuations. Well, there's your 175s on both of those sold now. Uh, Jesus Navas has sold both the Insignias that you saw sold, Dukaku. The Madison's gone, the Chilwell's gone, the Muriel's have gone, Bamba, one of the Bambas has gone. Uh, Keane's gone, Wilson's gone, we picked up Bamba again, Bamba again. So if you remember me saying to you about how fluctuations work, when we're trading with fluctuations, sometimes you have to be patient and it's not always going to be an easy buy, an easy sell. But what you're really doing is just punting in these cards when they're low. So the Bambas, for example, got down to 60. Now I know they sell most weekend leagues to 70k plus. The only thing that's going to change that is realistically going to be a French left wing <laughs> SBC. SBC from that league might affect their prices slightly, but they're relatively consistent special cards. They don't tend to take too big a whack or too big a gain. Sometimes they will jump massively or, or fall massively, but you're relatively safe, especially when you're buying quite far under. And that's really what I've been doing tonight. So we've still got the Marcos Sorrentes. I'm in no rush with those. They will go soon. Um, but tonight, to add to that, we bought uh, like Watkins here. We paid 64 for. Elena's there, 37k. No sort of massive, massive deals. The only one that's sort of a half decent deal is this Gomez here. Um, we paid 145, so for 160. He's taken an absolute hammering recently because of his um, What If card. But what people are missing out on, on something like Gomez is his what-if card is in a different league. And so this card still has some very strong li links into the sort of Argentinians in the Serie A, obviously Dybala being one of them. And so he will bounce. And so for me, a 145 is a relatively safe bet. So that's what we've been doing tonight, looking at basically on the 10, 20, 30 filter. The reason I told you before that I like the 10, 20, 30 filter is bigger numbers tend to scare people. So if you know your, your, your sort of figures, you tend to do quite well. Let's have a little, little look at Henderson quickly. Um, you know, it tends to do quite well. It was frustrating for me though, because a minute ago, I was on my account, I was on this account, and I looked and there was a 92 Lewandowski for 140, um, which is a very, very good deal. Most of you that trade will know that. Um, and I couldn't afford it. And so I had to go off this account, onto my brother's account, and basically give it to him. So he's a bit picked up a 30,000 coin profit card, something in that region. Um, but if he's making coins, I'm happy. We, we just paid 83 for that, didn't we? We didn't pay it. Uh, we didn't pay 85, I'm pretty sure we didn't anyway. Uh, but yeah, that's Henderson there. Just check him on the site, it tells me it's a deal. I'm pretty sure we paid 83, we did. Um, 
But this is my favorite filter by, by an absolute mile. And again, if you're a website user, if you're a foot trading user, you just check the price, buy it and sell it. If you're not a website user, Footwiz is your best friend. I've shown you it before. But basically on Footwiz, all you're looking to do is see what it's selling for in and around now, maybe check its graph, see what it's doing for. A lot of the time, it's standardly just an undercut. It's a good deal. Other times, it's not It's not an undercut and you have to look at the graph and go, okay, cool, is that actually a good deal or is it not? Um, but yeah, it's it's a lot of try and error. A lot of these cards I buy and, and see if they, if they rise or fall. Uh, it gives me an idea of where I can buy them next time and I'm not in any hurry to do it. Uh, my plan is to try and get spent up tonight, but I'm not going to lie to you, it's half nine. I'm very tired. I've been banging out the content left, right and centre recently. Um, so I may call it a night in a minute once I finish doing this. And next time you'll see me is hopefully in the morning when some of this stuff has sold. And what I am going to do quickly first actually is go and check Lorente and see where he's at. And I'm also going to go and check um, Valverde and see where he's at. So we'll do that quickly now. Just sort of, I always do these sort of run-throughs of these cards and just see what they're doing on the market at the moment and if there's any good deals to be had, uh, if, they're, if they're low on their fluctuations. Lorente's not really that low on his fluctuations at the moment. He's, he's relatively high at the moment. Have a little look at Zaha. We'll see what he's like in his fluctuations at the moment. He's low-ish. I, I can get 110 for him normally. I'd like a bit cheaper than, than 100. Ideally, 95 is my sort of buy-in point on him. And then Valverde, we have a little look at as well and just see what he's doing. And the more you get to know these, these trends, the easier it becomes to pick these cards up. 120, 116. I mean, these are low. These are low, but there's a lot of them. And so, for me, when there's a lot of them like that, would I buy into a load of them? Probably not. Um, you're probably looking to 110 highest there, really, for, for a fluctuation. But yeah, that's where we're at. Next time you'll see me will be the morning, um, and we'll be banging out some more trading. I'm going to be probably doing it live on stream on YouTube, so make sure you check out my streams at 10 a.m. on YouTube and 5.30 p.m. on Twitch. But I'll see you soon. All right, guys. So good morning from me, even though it's only 5.15 when you see this. And another solid night of sales. 735,000 coins we're back to. And again, these guys are all here just sort of being held at the moment. I'm in no rush to sell these cards. They're going to they're gonna go eventually. Long day, he'll sell any second now. He's up at about 120. Again, with these guys, I will just relist them and relist them. We're heading in towards weekend league rewards as well, which is tomorrow. So the market rises into weekend league other way. So for these guys here, I'm more than happy to hold for as long as I need to hold. There's no rush on them. What I am going to do is peel off the transfer pile now because I keep forgetting what I've sold and what I haven't sold. So that's all gone there. Um, but yeah, again, not resting on my laurels today. We'll continue to flip specials. I'll be doing that live on stream. Uh, we'll continue to flip silvers if I need to. And just get the coin total up. Well over 2 million. Ready for the last couple of days of big grind. But I'm sort of hoping today to get as much bought and sold as I can. And then tonight, if I can get some stuff sort of sold off, then look at some icons tonight because they tend to rise quite heavily into weekend league. So we're going to see how that goes. Um, but yeah, 735k, a lot of good sales overnight, 12 stuff set, 12 items selling. I think when that all sells, we're over 2 million, but I will see. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be right back once we get some more stuff bought. Alright guys, so we've just come off stream and we've bought more special cards and we've also bought into silvers. They dropped quite low this morning and they're starting to bounce back now, so we should get very good profit off of those. Some of the specials now, I'm starting to think to maybe underlist them ever so slightly because I do want to try and get to icons tonight if I can, um, or Thursday flips. So I feel like what I might do today as much as possible is just clear out, basically. Rather than holding stuff for too long, just get everything cleared out. Take the profit that I've got from some, um, take smaller profits from others, and get cleared out. I think we'll be over 2 million coins once I sell everything. So that's my plan for today, I think. So we are currently at like, at just gone 11. So basically by the time this goes live to you guys, I want to be out of everything. So I'm going to get my grind on and come back to you as and when stuff sells. I will be right back. But I did actually want to show you this quickly. Um, these Bambas, you guys have seen me send for 68 again. We picked them all up today. These ones I don't mind holding um, purely because I know over weekend league these cards will rise to 68 to 75k between there. Uh, plus, so I did pick up quite a few of these. Uh, 60k, you can never go wrong on Bamba. He, just, he always does really well. Um, so these ones might be held. The other ones that I've been holding for longer, the other cards I've been holding for a bit longer, uh, will probably go. Uh, but these guys that I bought into today for fluctuations, I'll probably hold those ones. So if, that's, if that makes sense, we'll hold the ones we bought today and sell the ones we bought yesterday. That's how it's going. I'll be right back. Alright guys, so day continuing, 632k right now, Ali, Mkhitaryan, Longley, Torreira, Robin Nolly and Watkins now sold. As well as all these silvers, again, mixing up trading methods as much as we possibly can to make good coins. Now, I am trying to shift some of these cards out and I want to, but I'm also not going to, I've decided that I'm not going to rush stuff out. I do want to be able to engage in Thursday flips, so some of them might come down by a little bit, um, but I'm refusing to, to like, list them too far down. I know what Lorente sells for. And I don't really want to miss out on the 30, 40k extra that I could possibly get from him. Now, obviously, that's got to be tempered with what I could get from reinvesting those coins and the profit made from it. But I just don't want to be underlisting too far. Like, I, I ideally want to be 
making sure that I'm getting the most uh, most value for money out of these players. But we're in a good place, 632k, and I think there's about 1.4 million selling on the transfer pile. Um, so we should be in around that 2 million mark, which is very, very solid. Um, it's currently now like 1 o'clock, so I'm just going to sort of leave this stuff chilling, relisting as we go. Um, and at the same time, I'm going to be recording the League SPC method to glory now. So sort of killing two birds with one stone to make sure we stay on, on top of all the uh, content for you guys, left, right and centre. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Alright guys, and now we're back up over 1 million coins. And I'm actually going to leave it there because I don't really want to... I've got some stuff underlisted and it's an error to me. At this point now, it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. The market's only going to rise tomorrow into Weekend League. And so I don't really want to be listing all these Lorentes to sell for lower than they're, than they're worth. They're worth way more than 124. They're worth 130 plus. Um, and I don't really want to be listing too low. Same as the Bambas. I know I can get more for them. So for me, I'm going to... If I get them, I hold them. I've got a million coins to go back in again tonight. And I've got about 1.1, 1.2 million on transfer pile selling at the moment. So it'll take us up to about 2.1, 2.2 million, something like that now. Fernandez at the moment is 3.19 million. Now that probably drops a little bit and I'll be able to pick up an undercut maybe on Friday on him. So really I'm looking to be by Friday at sort of the 3 million coins plus mark. Um, and that'll basically set us up nicely to be able to get him bought, potentially using for weekend league. I probably won't start my weekend league games until Saturday anyway. So really I've got Wednesday evening, Thursday, Friday to get it done. Tonight, I'm probably going to be looking at either Thursday flips, and if not Thursday flips, I'm just going to buy specials again. They've done very well. And then the final two days, probably focus on some icons. Um, even if we don't get onto icons on this series, I will, before I buy Fernandez, do a full blown icon trading video for you guys to show you how to trade with icons and the best way to do it. Um, and sort of give you some insight into that. Now, don't think that icons are easy or great to trade with because they can be good to trade with, but in my opinion, specials are better than icons this year by, by quite a distance. Uh, but like I say, we're up over 2 million once everything sells. I'm hoping that I'll be able to sort of bring you a full coin total tomorrow's episode once we've got everything sold that we buy tonight and sell the stuff we've got here for it into Weekend League. Give you a sort of a solid coin total to know exactly where we're at. But that's the end of the video. If you are new around here, as always, make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure you turn your notifications on so you never miss an upload. But for now, I am out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.